Welcome back to the Getting Started course. In this video, we're going to take a look at adding persistent storage into our application. And for the sake of this to-do app we're building, we're going to be using the local browser storage, which the AppSmith store is a wrapper for. To get started, head over to your application. And what we want to do is make edits to the JavaScript files, specifically the app.js file. And what we want to do is add a line in the update to do function to use the app stream store. We can invoke it by calling the store value function and then passing a key we want the to do's to be saved in. In this case, I'm just going to pass in a string called to do's, which means it's going to be accessible under the key called to do's. And then we can go ahead to pass in the data dot to do's variable. This looks good. But I'm going to go ahead to copy it and I'll have to use it one more time. We're going to have to reuse this in the edit to do function. So let's go ahead to the edit to do function and paste this right in. All right, so this looks good. The last thing we want to do is ensure that whenever our app is initialized, we're actually loading data saved in our persistent storage. So to do that, we want to go to the init function and do a quick edit. We want to ensure that we are loading the to-dos data from the appsmith.store and in this case we need to access the key we gave you earlier which is going to be to-dos. If that is not available, we want to add a fallback to our dummy data. Alright, so this looks good and we can head back to the application and give this a try. So what I'm going to do is edit the last to-do we have on the list and I'm just going to add an exclamation mark and save that in. Now you notice when we reload our browsers, everything should be as it was before because we now have persistent storage. And you notice that the last to do maintains its state. Now I'm going to go ahead to delete the last to do item and let's go on to give this browser a refresh. And if everything works well, we should have that item also still removed even though the application was refreshed. And you can see that we have it as expected. All right, so that is how to add persistent storage using AppSmith. Now, for this sample application, we did use the local store, but feel free to go on to use any REST API or GraphQL API or even databases such as Redis to complete this example. In the next video, we're going to take a look at styling the UI of the application to make it beautiful and appealing. I'm going to see you in the next video.